Activity 10, All the Pretty Colors. The color sensor can detect more than just a black line. It has the ability to distinguish lots of colors as well. We will program our robot to make a right turn when it sees red and a left turn when it sees green. From the 4-H project that we set up earlier, click on the plus sign to make a new program. Double click on the program name to change it to colors. Close the content editor area to allow more room if necessary. You will also want to zoom out a bit because this will be a bigger program. Use the magnifying glass icons to control your zoom. First, select a loop block from the flow control palette and connect it to the start block. Also, from the flow control palette, drag the switch block and place it inside the loop. Change the sensor type of the switch by choosing color sensor, then select measure and color. Now you will see the default case box at the top of the top path. Change the default case to zero. It will look like a box with a red line through it. Be sure that this path is marked as the default with this radio button. This is now the path the program will take if the sensor isn't seeing any colors. The robot should move straight ahead if no colors are in front of the sensor. Open the action palette and drag the move tank into the top path. Change the motor type to on. You can leave the motor power at 50 for both. Now let's change the bottom path. Drag another move tank block to the bottom path. Change the motor type to on for rotations and change the first motor strength to negative 30 and the second motor strength to 30. You also need to change the rotations to 0.5. We want the program to follow this path if it sees green, so we need to change the color box at the top of the path to be green. We need to add a path for the program if the sensor sees red. Click on the plus sign beside the top path and it will add another path under the bottom path. Drag a move tank block into the bottom path and change the type to on for rotations. This time, we will change the first motor to positive 30 and the second motor to negative 30. We will still leave the rotation set to 0.5. Be sure to save your work. Build the color cube with the instructions from the manual. Connect your robot to the computer and download the program. Unplug your robot and run the program. Place the color cube in front of the sensor with the red showing and then try it with the green showing. See if you can steer your robot through a maze using blocks of color. Please read the rest of the activity and then move on to activity 11.